So I noticed a few comments on my video yesterday where people were a bit disappointed that there were only four new weapons at the launch of the Pacific Chapter. Each class has a new starter weapon essentially, it's unlocked from the get-go and it's either an American or a Japanese weapon for that class. Some people wanted more than that, and then some people had also realised that the first two weeks of the Tides of War for this Pacific Chapter only rewarded cosmetic items, so their disappointment got a little bit worse as well. But actually, in case you didn't know, there are three other weapons that you can unlock for the Pacific Chapter relatively easily. All you have to do is just play the game. They're tucked away in the Chapter Rewards menu. You can unlock the Type 94 sidearm, the Model 27 revolver, those are two weapons that you unlock a little bit after, this third weapon called the Jungle Carbine. It's a brand new weapon for the Medic class, it's a bolt action carbine based off of the Lee Enfield rifle. Now having unlocked this thing pretty quickly and having spent some time with it today and yesterday, I've got to say that this thing is a really good new weapon for Battlefield 5. And something else that's great for Battlefield 5, or just games in general, our sponsor today, Elgato. These guys make the industry's best recording and streaming equipment like the Stream Deck and the HD60S Capture Card. If you want to take your content creation to the next level, check out Elgato with a link at the top of the description. So first of all then, obviously, if you go and choose to use this brand new Jungle Carbine, you are going to be playing the Medic class somewhat differently than if you'd chosen an SMG. You're still going to remain quite mobile and within reach of all the assault players and support players who are mainly pushing that front line towards the next objective, but because your damage potential is quite a bit more restrained with a bolt action weapon instead of a fully automatic SMG, you're probably not going to find yourself being that soldier who is the first to push onto new objectives. You're probably going to be in the wave of soldiers behind that. You're going to be picking off enemies from a greater distance, clearing some of the pathways towards that next capture point. But just because you're not the soldier who's up there slaying the entire enemy team with the new katanas, or who's burning them to a crisp with the new flamethrower, that doesn't mean that you won't be having a good time with the jungle carbine, because right now we have three different bolt action carbines in Battlefield 5, and I think that the jungle carbine is the best one that you can pick. And I've got a few reasons that I can back that up with. First on the list is the damage model, and probably the best way to describe it is that DICE have been very kind to the Jungle Carbine here. The Jungle Carbine's closest competitor is the Tromboncino, and that was released quite a few months back now. I think it was either in Chapter 3 or Chapter 4, I can't remember which one, but the Jungle Carbine, it trumps the Tromboncino on damage over distance by quite a considerable margin. At 50 meters distance, the Tromboncino starts to decline in damage, whereas the Jungle Carbine, that keeps its maximum damage right the way out to 75 meters, so it's got a 25 meter advantage at the same 55 max damage. 55 max damage out to 75 meters, you're guaranteed a two-shot kill as long as you land shots to the body. If you hit the arm or you hit a leg of your enemy, the damage multiplier is less than one on those body parts, so you will need a third shot to take them down, but providing you're accurate, the Jungle Carbine in normal gameplay is a two-shot kill out to 75 meters, which is quite some power for the Medic class. That extra 25 meters in distance over the Tromboncino at maximum damage on these new Pacific maps it makes quite a big difference. In general, these maps are wider, there's more open spaces here that you have to move across, and so knowing that if you're only having to land two body shots within a 75 meter range and the enemy is gonna hit the floor, that gives me at least a lot more confidence as a soldier because I'm spending less time shooting out in the open and just more time moving on to the next objective or getting myself into cover. That extra 25 meters really does make quite a big difference. And things get even better for the Jungle Carbine. There's still an element of the damage model that I haven't told you about yet. The Jungle Carbine, it's max damage 55 as I've already mentioned, but it doesn't hit the 50 damage point until the 100 meter mark. That means up to 100 meters, the Jungle Carbine can secure you one shot headshot kills. And that's a really big deal because it's a bolt action weapon. Lots of players are gonna use it like a bolt action rifle from the recon class. 
but they're now running as a medic. So, as a medic, you've now got a weapon in your hands that can compete one-to-one -one with most of the bolt-action rifles in the recon class when you're going for headshots. You're pretty much as powerful as someone in the recon class, but you've got the added benefit of also being a medic, so you can heal yourself if you take damage infinitely. You don't just have one pouch, you have as many as you want, and you can heal other players and you can bring them back from the dead with revives as well. So you've now moved from being a recon, who's inherently quite a selfish player, to somebody who is now one of the most helpful players on the battlefield, and you're a sniper, so you're the most helpful sniper in the history of the Battlefield franchise. Now, moving on slightly to another point, but kind of sticking with this theme of competing with sniper rifles, the Jungle Carbine is a cut-down version of the Lee Enfield rifle. Despite these two weapons having slightly different damage models, with the long rifle being that much more deadly, the Jungle Carbine actually shares its bullet velocity with its bigger brother. Both of them sit at 500 meters per second. So this means if you're someone who already likes to use the Lee Enfield in the recon class, you can kind of expect a somewhat similar experience when it comes to using the Jungle Carbine. Now, of course, you won't be able to use that same six times magnification scope here on the Carbine. The Medic class limits you to just a three times optic at maximum, but in most cases, three times optic is the ideal magnification to have on the Carbine. With the one-shot headshot distance reaching out to 100 meters, a 3 times optic is going to bring your targets nicely into focus and it's going to make it that little bit easier to get your aim on the head before you pull the trigger. And then on to my third point on this list, the Jungle Carbine is just great when it comes to mobility as a medic player. When you pick up a bolt action carbine, you know you're going to be playing a little bit differently than if you were going to take an SMG as a medic, but the fast rate of fire and the stripper clip reloading system on this jungle carbine, it makes it great for firing off plenty of rounds before you have to take cover and go into a reload scenario. Rank 3 of the specialization tree, it unlocks the machined bolt option. That increases the rate of fire from 84 to 95 rounds per minute and that brings it very, very close to the tromboncino, which tops out at 100 rounds per minute. The stripper clip reload system, that means if you fired five of the 10 rounds from your internal magazine, you can just reload an entire five round stripper clip straight into the receiver. It saves you a bunch of time. And if you just need a couple of rounds added back in, the reload goes in bullet by bullet for anything greater than five rounds left. It's a rather speedy rifle, this one. You can do a lot of movement, Get yourself into cover, reload, back out, reload, move up to the next point. It's a fast rate of fire rifle for a fast moving medic. It's really good fun to use. So then, if you couldn't tell, and I'd be surprised if you couldn't tell at this point, I think the Jungle Carbine is a really good addition to Battlefield 5. I'm really enjoying using it because I already like the medic playstyle, but this properly changes things up for me. I think the Jungle Carbine kind of mishmashes the recon class, but into the medic class, but you're playing within the medic role because you've got a relatively powerful bolt action carbine that has a really fast rate of fire, but can also one shot headshot players up to 100 meters. You are a sniper playing in the medic role, so it's like the best of both worlds. I haven't been a massive fan of some of the other bolt action carbines, for example, the commando carbine when DICE added that to the game. I don't really think it was the right weapon to lead when introducing a new weapon category. It didn't really set things up very well. Its use case was far too narrow and the damage outside of about 50 meters was rather pathetic. The tromboncino, that's a really good weapon and it's one that I really enjoyed using in the past, but recently I've kind of just switched back to my normal run around with an SMG kind of medic playstyle, and that may well be because of the underground map where if you weren't running the Suomi with the medic class and smokes, then what the hell were you doing? But it had an integrated grenade launcher on the tromboncino. That gave you that alternate mode of fire to the bolt action, and it made you quite a lot more useful as a medic. It gave you a bit more extra explosive firepower. And it's in that same vein, the Jungle Carbine. It's doing something a little bit different for the medic class, but this time, as I've said previously, you're becoming a sniper in the medic role. It's an almost perfect weapon for a medic who doesn't mind mopping up behind the front line and providing a little bit of fire from further back. It is the little brother to the Lee Enfield in the recon class. It's so similar to that weapon that 
I'd say it might actually encourage more people to move over from Recon for a little bit and come and play the Medic class. It's got the same bullet velocity as the Lee Enfield. It's got a faster upgraded rate of fire. It can one-shot headshot enemies out to 100 meters. And it's got the tiered reloading system that can save you a lot of time if you're taking cover and getting straight back into the action. It's a smaller rapid fire Lee Enfield rifle for the Medic. And it's just awesome. I'm really, really liking it so far. A big thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you're enjoying your weekend full of Pacific fun. And just again, a massive thank you for all your support on the Pacific content I've been releasing. It's been a long time coming for people to be happy about Battlefield 5, but I think in general, most people in the community at the moment are happy with Battlefield 5, and that's awesome. Let me know your thoughts on all of the new weapons down below so far. Maybe if you've already got a favorite, let me know with a comment down below. Drop this video a like if you enjoyed it. The dislike button is there if you didn't enjoy it. And until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.